As we talked about on the last segment um, about staff meetings here at Kelsey K-9, um, we talked about three, or, about three different points, and I want to get to point number four, five, and six. So six steps, six key ingredients about having a successful staff meeting, okay, and, uh, and follow up from staff meeting. So here at Kelsey K-9, again, we strive to have staff meetings a couple of times a month, um, usually twice a month. We have technician meetings as well twice a month. But here are the last final steps, which is this. Number four is, is that we are all in and make a commitment. And that is to say, you've got to do step number one, which is everyone participates. Everyone has, has to have their say in a staff meeting to get number four to happen, to, to be all in. So that once we make a decision, we all commit to it. Everybody said their piece, everybody said their, had their turn to talk about it, and then we commit. And that's really important. Uh, there's a, a saying, um, again, a lot of this comes from this um, Pat Lincioni, who's a great speaker and author, has several books, but he's had a great book about staff meetings. And um, he says this about Intel. He says, at Intel, they discuss, they debate, they argue, and then they commit. They discuss, they debate, they argue, and then they commit to, to, the, to the decision. The decision that's made um, uh, by the leadership and by the staff as well. So fourth is all in. That we all got to be in. We all got to commit to the decision that we've made. They've had their, their say. They've had their time to, to speak. And now again, we make a decision and we move forward. Uh, point number five is at the end of every staff meeting, we need to have a five-minute review. We need to determine who's doing what, who's doing what by when, okay, and again, make a dis uh, or uh, make clear exactly what has been decided at that staff meeting. So maybe it's a decision about um, well, who, who, it doesn't know. it doesn't matter really, but you know it's got to be a clear decision has been made because sometimes you know you go away from a staff meeting and you think oh I I heard this and this person heard that. So we got to circle back around for five minutes and make sure everybody is clear on what we decided. And then six in the final point is follow up. Follow-up is, again, leadership's responsibility to follow up with staff multiple times. So maybe the next staff meeting, the next staff meeting after that, we're going to review what was decided several weeks ago or maybe even a month ago to make sure we're all clear, we're all moving forward in the same direction. And it could be emails, it could be text, um, however we want to follow up. We want to be, but we want to follow up with the decisions that have been made and so that we are clear, we need to be clear exactly what direction we're going. So these are the last uh, three steps to, we had six steps in having a great successful staff meeting, and these are the final three.